It's Christmas time, and what better at Christmas time than Christmas movies? So I thought I'd take a break from the classic Star Wars, Marvel, DC kind of review and go with something a little more acquaint to the times, a little more with the season that we're in. Instead of going the classical route and reviewing a movie we've all seen a hundred times before, I thought I'd look at something new that just dropped on Apple TV Plus, Spirited, starring Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds. Which, to be honest, those two names are the only reason I watch this film. <laughs> I mean, the trailer certainly markets just those two actors. Anyway, I knew nothing about this film going into it. I just knew that these two men were starring in it, and that was enough for me. I had no expectations going into this film. I knew nothing about it, and I was shocked at, one, how much I enjoyed the premise, and two, that it was a musical. I had no idea that this was going to be a musical. <laughs> I'll get to the musical part in a second, but the plot of this film I actually think is quite interesting. So for those of you who don't know, this is a different take on A Christmas Carol where instead of Scrooge just being haunted by these three ghosts and then that's it, these three ghosts actually haunt a person every year and try to change them. So it's a constant thing. So there's like a whole production that goes behind it, research into that person, and then they haunt them on Christmas Eve in hopes that they change on Christmas Day. It's actually a really cool premise, and I never thought about it like this. Like, what if they haunted other people besides Scrooge, and that's like their thing? And so one Christmas, they decide to haunt Ryan Reynolds' character, which I will refer to just as Ryan or Ryan Reynolds, because even Google cast doesn't recognize that this character has a name. Ryan's this business political, like, manager who, like, gets clients elected that, like, sparks controversy, that kind of guy. I don't really know how to describe his role, but he's a rich guy that does bad things, and so they try to change him. He's a quote unredeemable or unchangeable i forgot exactly what term they use i think it is unredeemable but will ferrell's character is like bet and so that's pretty much the whole story is just trying to change him into a good person it's a good interesting plot now after hearing that plot does anything in that make you think that it's a musical no i wasn't expecting a musical. I doubt that after reading the synopsis, you would think it's a musical, but it is. And at the beginning, I didn't mind it. It it the it opens in the kind of generic musical way, but like throughout the film, after every single song, it felt weird. I don't know why they decided to make this a musical. None of the songs are very memorable either. I think back to films like The Greatest Showman, where like I know every single song on that soundtrack. And it's not just because I was super into that film when it came out, but the songs were really catchy and really memorable, and they served a purpose in the story. Here, it doesn't really seem like that. In fact, all it seems to do is draw out the runtime. There is one good song I don't even remember the name. I think it's called Good Afternoon. But other than that, the songs are really forgettable. But I think the choreography is really good and really impressive within those musical numbers. But I don't think it serves a purpose in the story. The songs feel like you're writing an essay for your teacher and it's got to mean a word count. And so you've already established a certain idea and you just keep going into that further and further. That's what the songs serve here in this film. And again, like... Good Afternoon is a really good song, and I really liked that sequence. The musical aspect of it, I was kind of like, okay. And that's another thing. This film drags on for a long time. It's almost two hours, and I'm pretty sure if you cut all the musical parts, you're getting roughly 90 minutes, which I think would have been way more sufficient for this film. A shorter runtime. It just keeps going. I never got bored during the film, but I was like, okay, let's wrap it up. But with that said, I felt like they rushed a ton of things. I think they wanted Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds on screen with one another as quick as possible. And so in the beginning, it feels like they rush all the way into the haunting when I feel like they could have done a lot more with the preparation the ghosts had into like investigating Ryan's character so that we know a little bit more of who he is. 
I felt like that would have been better. And they really rush past the ghost of Christmas past. They just get rid of her as soon as they can so Will Ferrell's character can come in. Like, it's really lazy, which I think is a shame. Neither the ghost of Christmas past nor future really play a role in this film other than a couple jokes and like one or two scenes. Which, I don't know, for me, that's like, ugh, I feel like it's a waste of characters, but it's not the biggest, like, it doesn't ruin the film in any way. I love Will Ferrell's character, so it doesn't really matter. Another problem I had is that they don't really explain all the rules or, like, what's going on with ghosts and, like, what happens when you die. It's just, it's this weird thing. Like, you're a ghost and you can choose to remain a ghost and you can appear to people and you can touch physical objects. So I'm like, what's the, so what's the difference between being alive and being a ghost if you just show yourself to people and then you're alive and you can touch things and it's just, it's just weird this film isn't meant to be this like perfect masterpiece that's flawless and super tight-knit in its rules it's it's definitely a turn your brain off just enjoy what's on the screen type of film and i don't mind that just as someone who thinks about things way too much in regards to movies it, that was kind of like a ugh. Dang it, again, it's not that big of a deal. Another problem with this film is that some of the jokes are just not great. Like during the beginning, before Ryan Reynolds comes in, some of the jokes just fall really flat. I was just like, ah, oh, I gotta watch two hours of this. Ugh. But as the film progresses, the jokes do as well. I feel like the later you get into the movie, the better the jokes get. The main selling part of this film is Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell being together on screen, and the film plays a lot into that and does really well with that. Both Ryan and Will do an incredible job in this film. I mean, it's Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell. What more are you going to expect here? Their chemistry is amazing, they steal every scene they're in together, and I liked the twist that they made with Will Ferrell's character. I'm not gonna go into spoilers here though. Another thing with this film that I really enjoyed was its message. I wasn't expecting a very meaningful message from this. I mean, it's a it's a Ryan Reynolds, Will Ferrell comedy musical. That's what it's sold as, that's all I was expecting. But towards the end, you get a really meaningful message. Like, people don't just change overnight. You can't just become bad to good, just through one experience but it's a constant struggle you constantly have to decide to do the right thing and it's it's a good message and i think they lead up to that point very well and they show that within the film which doesn't happen in hollywood very often i feel like they just tell you what the message is but they don't show you that throughout the film or leading up to telling you the message they just like throw it in your face like they don't expect the audience to get that but here i think they show it throughout the film they show the message they show the lesson that they're trying to teach the audience and they do they do it well overall i don't i don't really know how i feel about spirited i think the idea and the premise is really good for a christmas movie but i think it fails in its execution as being a musical and not so much focusing on the premise but instead focusing on getting the two lead roles on screen as much as possible but at the same time those two leads do an incredible job and have amazing chemistry together i would say spirited is a film that has a great idea but fails in that execution that lasts way too long and will probably never be a traditional Christmas movie that families watch every year. I probably won't watch this film again for another five years until my family's looking through the long list of Christmas movies and somehow this pops up and we decide to watch it. But I think the... I think both its greatest strength is also its greatest weakness in that it relies so heavily on Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds' performance that it doesn't leave room to flesh out the story or other characters enough and kind of leaves you wanting more and also wanting less because the runtime is a lot longer than it should be. But that's about it for me. Let me know what y'all thought about Spirited in the comment section below. Did you even watch it? I did not hear about this film until about a week ago, and I think it's been out for more than a month. Let me know down in the comment section below what you thought of Spirited. And as always, guys, I love you all so, so much. I hope you all have an absolutely amazing week. And until next time, peace out, bro skillets.